Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a quick update on my 2018 Pan That Palette, which is my Urban Decay Naked Palette. So I'm pretty proud of myself because I have been using this palette consistently ever since I started this project. I am really happy that I chose this palette because of all the neutral colors. I can wear the vast majority of these shades to work. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a nanny. And it just doesn't really seem super appropriate to wear a whole lot of heavy makeup to work. So the look I have on today for the most part is my everyday eyeshadow look. Um, I don't tight line when I go to work and I don't really put eyeshadow on my lower lash line when I go to work, but what is on my lid, uh, that is, that's pretty much my everyday work eyeshadow. So it's really just like natural, it's easy, it's quick, and I'm going to show you all the colors that I am wearing. And I also have at least one picture of a more dramatic look um, that I was actually wearing in my what's in my purse video. Starting off the first shade being Virgin. This one I have not been using super consistently. Um, I, I wish it weren't like shimmery. If it were a matte kind of creamy white, I would use it like all the time to set my eyeshadow or to set my primer. Um, like the first color in the Naked 3 palette, which I honestly, I should pull that palette out and just like start using that to set my primer, but whatever. I did actually use it on my lid today underneath what I have on the very top, uh, just to see if it, I don't know how it would look. I don't normally do that, but I don't know. So I did use it today, but there's not a lot of progress on Virgin because like I said, have not been using it very much. Sin is what is on the top of my eyelids today. So this I've been using consistently all over my lid after I work two other uh, shadows into my crease. So the first shadow, as you can see, I hit naked on, what? <laughs> I hit pan on naked. So I believe that that was probably the shade that was that had the biggest dip um, from the like from when I started <laughs> this project, there was no pan anywhere um, in this palette. As you can see, there's no other pan um, when I started this, but yeah, Naked was really, really close. So I did hit that uh, probably a couple weeks ago. So I've just been expanding the pan slowly. I do my best to dip my brush like all over. <laughs> I know I'll see progress faster if I put my brush in the same spot, and I normally do that when I'm panning, but this time around I'm trying to kind of go all over because it'll take longer to hit pan, but then once I hit pan I know that the pan will expand really, really quickly. So that's kind of been what I've been working towards, but I couldn't really do that with Naked because Naked already had a really huge dip in it. So now I try and dip my brush into like the top and the bottom to really like flatten those out even more. Sidecar, I haven't used once, so there's no progress on Sidecar. Buck, um, I mean, there's a little bit of a dip in there, but I have been really like spreading out my brush placement on Buck, so there's not going to be like a distinct dip, which is fine. I just, I want to kind of like flatten it steadily. So Buck is the other shade I use in my crease on a regular basis. And funny side story, but my husband, like, so I'll go, I'll be like, Gage, do you like my eyeshadow today? Like, I don't know. And he always goes, did you use Buck? And he has done that for years, like since 2015 when we did the husband does my makeup or something. So when he got a really good look at uh, the naked palette, because he used the naked palette on me, he like somehow in his memory, like Buck is like the only shade that stands out to him so every time i'm like do you like my eyeshadow did you use book like that's his joke that's our little joke um even when i didn't even use the naked palette and even if my eyeshadow is not brown at all like he'll ask but because i am painting this palette he asks did you use buck and i'm like yes i did because i pretty much use buck every single time i do my eyeshadow now um, half baked I have used a couple of times but there's not a huge difference in the pan um, but I do have like a picture of 
a look or two maybe um, where I have used half-baked uh, as well as smog together. So in the really dramatic look I had going on in my what's in my bag tag, I had smog all over the lid, which I actually did do at work once, but I didn't wear any lip product and I looked so weird because <laughs> it was like really warm and beautiful on the eyes and then I looked like dead from here down. <laughs> um, so, but I like, I did not realize how much I would love smog. I'm really into smog. Um, I just, I feel like I can blend it all over my lid as a one eyeshadow look. So I used to like have it stuck in my head, like don't let a shimmery shade get in your crease, especially if you have like hooded eyes, um, like it's bad, it's gonna look really bad. And so I always felt really limited in the eyeshadow looks I can do, but lately I've just been like, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna put a shimmery shade in my crease. like what's the worst that can happen and I'm really glad I'm kind of breaking that rule um, because smog all over the lid and even blended up into the crease a little bit is really pretty and yeah so in that really dramatic look I did smog all over the lid and then I worked dark horse into the outer corners to add dimension and I believe I put half baked um, on probably the inner lid and the inner corner so I used those three for that look um, yeah dark horse has kind of an existing dip. When I was in a play, I would use Dark Horse on the outer corner every time I did my performance. Um, and so there is like a bit of a dip in that. And then, yeah, I only used Dark Horse once in the course of my project. And then I haven't used anything from Toasted On during this project yet. Um, I'm the type of person, I don't get bored very easily with my eyeshadows, especially because I go to a job four days a week where I have to keep it pretty simple. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I don't think I'm ready yet to rock some like really insane colors or like really dramatic looks on that job for that job. And also I don't have very much time in the mornings. Um, and once my husband leaves again for training, I'll have even less time because he's normally the one who takes Harley out in the mornings and that can take anywhere between like 10 minutes if she really has to go or like 30 minutes and that 30 minutes where he takes her out that's like my get ready time so when he's gone that 30 minutes shortens to like five minutes or something so um, I wouldn't even have time to do any dramatic looks and I feel like definitely creep and gunmetal um, are reserved for like really dramatic smoky black eye looks which I'm just not gonna wear to work <laughs> so I don't want to scare the kids like going there and they're like what happened like they would literally be like what happened like that I got punched in the face or something I don't know anyway so yeah that's just the quick update on my pan that palette I'm I know it doesn't look like a ton of progress, but this is a long-term project. This is a palette that I can see myself consistently using for the whole year. Guys, this is so random, but I dropped my phone today and I have never shattered my screen before, but I don't know if you can see that, but I completely shattered my screen. I'm so sad. Ugh. I mean, I don't know, I'm not like, I just, I, when I dropped it, I was like, <sighs> I said a bad word, which I'm not going to say right now because I want to keep this monetized. But yeah, I was like, well, I guess I got to go get that fixed today. So anyway, um, but the reason I pulled out my phone is because I wanted to shout one of you guys out because I love to do that at the end of my videos. Ooh, <sighs> it's really dangerous. <laughs> like, I don't want to cut myself. Little glass shards are coming off on my fingers. So today I'm going to shout out Bailey Pylon or Pilon, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she said, she commented on my recent makeup haul that I did, my makeup haul of intentional and thoughtful purchases, and she said, I love hearing about thoughtful makeup purchases. So many people just collect makeup to try it and forget it. I love when I see videos where people actually love and use the makeup that they have. Very refreshing. And I do the same with my Tarte Shape Tape, haha. <laughs> So, um, I totally agree with you, Bailey, like 
it's become such a pet peeve for me to like see people buy lots and lots and lots of things and then I like never see them use it again. I mean, I, all at the same time, like do your own thing, live your life. Bailey, you and I are on the same page. Thanks so much for your amazing comment. I did want to say in general, lately my comment section has been wonderful. Like I just, you guys have such amazing comments and they're so thoughtful and just great <laughs> like I don't know I I was telling Gage I'm like my comment section has been on point like the past few videos I posted haven't been getting as many views but I'm like I don't even care because the people who are commenting are like commenting these great comments I don't know it's making me really happy so thank you guys so much for your amazing comments I, I just recently went and like loved a lot of your comments and I tried to respond to everybody because I just appreciate you guys so much. So, um, and that's, that's why I'm shouting you guys out at the end of my videos because it, I truly, truly appreciate your support. And I also kind of want to add, this is my first video I have filmed since they changed the whole like YouTube partnership thing where like now you have to have 4,000 hours of views every year and you have to have hit the 1,000 subscriber mark before you can monetize your videos. And I think like I've, I've barely um, made it with this channel, um, but I just have so many friends on here that it's affecting them and it just makes me so sad, but just keep doing it you guys. If you do have channels, like keep it up um, and just put your heart and your soul into it and love what you do. I, I do feel for you, like this just really sucks. 4,000 hours for a small channel is really hard to get. So yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Just keep going with it. And to me too, like I don't know if my views are suddenly going to drop and then next year I won't be able to have monetized videos. Virtual hugs, you guys. Why is YouTube doing this to, to its small creators anyway? So anyway, uh, I'm going to shut up now because this video is supposed to be short and now it's really long. But anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will update you guys on my Pan That palette in about a month. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Project Pans. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!